What is up guys, it's Kyle Vo, and I am on the last day of my carnivore diet. Today is August 8th, day 30. I gotta let everyone know, so I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna scream, I finally completed the carnivore diet. Let's go. Oh dang, son. Ooh. All right. Three, two, one. I'm finally done! There we go. So yeah, anyways, today is the last day of my carnivore diet and I'm actually so proud of myself for going through this whole entire 30 days and you know, just challenging myself to doing this, no carbs, just eating straight meat for 30 days. And honestly, I feel amazing. I might actually go back on this diet after a couple months maybe. If I want to, you know, just try something new again, I'll probably do a different diet, who knows. But yeah, this is probably the hardest thing and most challenging thing I've ever done before. And I can honestly say that I'm really proud of myself for pushing through this and seeing all the tempting foods that my mom makes, like the keto cakes and you know keto ice cream and stuff like that. I'm really happy that I didn't eat it even though it was really tempting. But later in the vlog, I'm gonna sit down and talk to you guys about what you can learn from doing this and just going through different challenges in life and just challenging yourself to do these things. And then also, I know you guys have been waiting to see a transformation. I'm gonna show you guys that too and explain if anything has happened. Who knows? Let's just see. But yeah, right now, I'm about to make my first meal. I'm eating eight eggs today, right here. I got the butter right there. Uh, I got five eggs right here and then three right here. So I'm gonna eat eight eggs and then I'm gonna cook some bacon also. So it's just a little bit more eggs than last time. It's just one more, but you know what? Who cares? And also, I'm gonna try to cook more bacon than I did last time because I just wanna get full off the meal so that I can be satisfied. So, let's start making this. All right, guys, I didn't wanna film the whole process of me making the eggs because it's just kinda boring. It's literally the same thing as the last video. So, here are the eggs again. It looks like a little bit more quantity. I didn't eat it yet, so that's a good thing. And then, the bacon is cooking over here. Uh, that right there again is just burnt egg. I did wash off most of it, but I guess some of it didn't come off. I think I didn't add enough butter. And I still need to cook eggs for my brother. Because... Sugar. But yeah, I still have to cook the eggs for my brother because he hasn't ate, eaten anything yet. So I think I'm going to just do that while I'm cooking the bacon. So I'll catch you guys after I'm done with all that. Alright guys, got the finished product right here. So guys, today I think my friend is actually going to come over and work out. He's coming He's coming over around 3 o'clock right now and it is 2.30 so I have like 20 minutes to eat this. So I gotta hurry up and eat this and then we're going to work out. Actually wait, so I think after I'm done eating this meal, I'm going to show you guys what has happened to my body. And I, and, and I know you guys are excited about that so stay tuned for that. I'm going to finish this meal and then it's time to reveal what has happened. Actually, never mind guys. I'm gonna show you guys what happened to my body before I eat so that I don't have a full stomach And there's no food inside of me so that you guys can actually see The difference So let's go three two one Welcome to the voice recording So basically as you can see here my this is a picture of my the front of my body and then it's gonna transition back to the, yes, which is the final day, which is with day 30. And then now you're gonna look at the side of my arm and there here is a comparison of day one and day 30. My, my arm did get bigger, as you can see. It definitely, you know, got more tone also and bigger as well. And also guys, my chest did get bigger. As you can see, I'm pointing to it right there, my upper chest, it did get bigger. Here is a final look at the front of my body. All right, I want to take a second to look at the front of my body more in depth. So as you can see from the left and right picture, I did get more lean and more toned. And also I, my shoulders did get a little bit bigger. And I don't know if you can see it, but my abs are a little bit more formed than before. All right, here, so here's an actual screenshot of both pictures. So the left is day one, the right is day 30. And this is a better picture for you guys if you guys want to look more in depth on the difference between my arm size and just my whole body overall. So I hope you guys enjoyed the voice recording. See you later. So yeah, 
This is exactly what I expected, like I just said before. I didn't expect a huge transformation. I did expect what I expected. I expected some loss of water weight, which is one, and I shed some fat, and I gained back a little bit more muscle mass than I did before. But honestly, this diet really changed me because I have a lot more energy when I work out, and like I don't get tired as fast, and also, I don't get hot anymore, which is really weird, but honestly, I feel really great whenever I work out because I don't get hot, but I do still sweat. And I know you guys might think I'm crazy and I'm weird about saying this, but you know whenever you sweat, it accidentally gets into your mouth, and you know the taste of sweat, right? It tastes like salt, but whenever it accidentally got into my mouth and I tasted the sweat, it did not taste salty at, at all. It just tasted like regular water, which is really weird. And I searched it up why my sweat isn't salty anymore, and it said that you've been increasing your sodium intake, which is honestly what I've been doing because as you guys can tell from all my meals when I cook steak and pork, I always put a lot of salt on my steaks and pork because I'm not scared of sodium. I actually need sodium because of electrolytes whenever I need to replenish them. So I think that's the reason why my sweat isn't salty, which is honestly cool and weird at the same time. But if you guys search how to make your sweat taste less salty, then it'll tell you to increase your sodium intake. Now, I know you guys might be saying, oh, I'm scared of sodium. I don't want too much sodium in my diet, but you guys can do whatever you want. I'm just saying that if you do want to know why your sweat isn't salty, if you if it does happen, then it's just because you're increasing your sodium intake. So that's just what has happened over the past month of me. Like, it, it feels so weird, but it's honestly cool because I don't like my sweat being salty. It, it just tastes... It just tastes like regular water that's trying to cool me down, but I know it's weird, but it's true. I promise. All right. So yeah, that's basically the body transformation. Honestly, I'm happy. Actually, I'm actually happy on where I'm at right now because I was a little bit more bloated. Like my whole entire body was bloated because of all the carbs I was eating and it was just stored inside my body and my muscles. But whenever I eliminated that and I lost all the water weight and I started shedding some fat, Literally, whenever I look at myself in the mirror, I'm like, wow, that's how I look like without carbs. So I'm really happy about where I'm at. And I do look a little bit more lean. And I did build a little bit more muscle in my shoulders, in my chest, in my triceps, in my arms, basically my arms. So yeah, I'm actually happy about this transformation. And I hope you guys can take something from this and learn from it and just challenge yourselves to try new things. Okay, now I'm actually going to eat my food that I cooked. Wow, I think eggs and bacon is probably the easiest meal that I've actually made that I can finish fast because like the way I make it is I make it scrambled eggs too but the thing is whenever I make the scrambled eggs I make it a little bit runny so like whenever I eat it it's easy to get down so eggs and bacon is probably one of the easiest meals to eat and get down fast if I'm in a hurry and also it just tastes really good because I mean what can go wrong is eggs and bacon that's those, are, those two things are both good. And I just made eight eggs and like eight, six strips of bacon. And then I finished it in like three minutes. And Caleb, I made him four sunny side up eggs. And he's only finished like one and a half, so that's how you can tell. You finished one full? Oh, okay, never mind. He's finished one full. But yeah, that's how you can tell that this meal is really good and easy to get out because I can just chop up the egg and just take a huge bite of it and then half of it will be on so, yeah. So I think right now I'm probably gonna get ready for the day and then wait for my friend to come over and then we're actually gonna work out. Like this time for real. For real, for real. We're actually gonna work out. We're gonna train skills like crazy, so let's go. Don't forget to cop the merch also guys. Right here, I have the merch right here. The V-Stanix. This right here is available in black. If you guys do want it, I'll pop a picture right here what it looks like. It, it's a black hoodie and it has the logo on the left side of the sweater right here it has the logo right here you guys want that one and also I have <clears throat> and also I have shirts available on the website too so if you guys do want to cop some merch go in the link in the description and then click the website and then to cop it all right guys never mind scratch that my friends not coming me and my family we're going to the beach right now so I'll see you guys at the beach
just got back from the beach like 30 minutes ago and I forgot to record and end the vlog but it's like 2.30 right now in the morning and I was gonna film a lot at the beach but I couldn't because one my phone was like at 30% and two the wind was going crazy so like you guys couldn't hear me talking at all and I was also gonna record the whole entire time we were going to Galveston to go crapping and stuff but I don't want to film that either because my phone was at like 10% so I don't want to waste battery and I wanted to get some good good clips for you guys but I kind of couldn't so I'm really sorry about that but I do hope you guys enjoyed the little montage of the workout at the beach um, that was pretty fun too I hope you guys enjoyed that little montage but yeah I think I'm just gonna end the video right here probably gonna go shower and just go to sleep or something probably edit and yeah because it's like 2 30 in the morning right now and my arm is getting tired from holding my phone but anyways with that being said thanks so much for watching wait no i hope you guys enjoyed today's video of me showing you guys what i'm eating for my meals and the transformation that has happened to my body and the little montage at the beach too and you know just me getting closer to you guys talking to you guys about diet and stuff so with that being said thanks so much for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe and definitely share this video with a friend who wants to know which day i'm on which is the final day day 30 which was technically yesterday but i still count it as today but you know what forget that just share this video with a friend who wants who wants to know which day i'm on which is day 30 also if you want to check out more of my content follow me on ig at calisthenics i upload every wednesday at 5 p.m central time don't forget to cop the merch link in description all right peace out Thank you.